ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Katie 4 and welcome to Day of the Tentacle, our brand new Wednesday rollback series. Yes! Oh, what can I say about this game? Now, this is the remastered version of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on the original, what I used to love. This was the probably the first point-and-click adventure game I completed multiple times because I just loved the story, I loved the way everything was done, and, well, when I got the remastered version, I thought, you know what, we need to do another one, and okay, this may only be a mini-series in comparison to all the other mini-Wednesday series we do, because I believe it can be completed in about two hours, if not less, or at least, you know, I remember doing it like something like that when I was a child. So, this may be getting changed over to a one-off Sunday, we will see, but at the time of recording, I'm planning to do this as a little fun series until I can decide what's going to be our next Wednesday one. So, you know what? Let's bring back all the memories of the childhood, all that enjoyment I got, and let's get, yeah, some tentacles taking over, shall we? I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get a test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Okay, right. So, I've got to admit, I completely forgot how long that intro was. But, I've got to say, why can't more games be like this? Why did Lucas Star? Why did LucasArts stop doing point and click? They were so, so good at them. I mean, how many of the point and clicks have we done that, yeah, are LucasArts and they were just the best of that era? And, oh, I just wish they'd carried on because they could be doing so, so amazing right now. But anyway, um, we've got the controls. And, yes, my favourite thing, render mode. Beautiful. Let's go back to the old retro. Oh, that's better. That's how it should be. Oh, I do. And see, I didn't even realize I had a textbook there. So, the Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Okay, and just one more setting to change. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. There we go. That's better. Now we've got it as it used to be. Right. Let's get on, shall we? And have a look around what we've got. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Okay. Well, we'll just pick that up. And... It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Okay, well, George. Right, and the sign? Help wanted, lab assistant. Hard-working, moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. All right, well, we'll have you. Thank you very much. And hello, Chuck. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it. It's spiny. Fine. And, ah, gum. Lovely. Mmm, spearmint. My favorite. Okay. It's stuck to the floor. Well, he is a genius. He doesn't have the muscle power, does he? Fine. Neat. Okay. Can we ding? <laughs> Hello? Anybody? I guess no one's coming. All right. It's permanently attached to the countertop. Ah, well, that's convenient. Right. No, I didn't mean to look at... 1952. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Right. Out of order. Hmm. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Okay, well, we will... Have a look at that in a moment, and, ooh, picture. It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. Okay, and... I'd rather not mess with it. It might be booby-trapped. All right, fine. Hello. Sleep right, design, off. sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Okay. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Well, we'll have that. And... Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Of course it is. I have three just like it at home. 
Alright, and have they? Let's just see if you put a date on it yet. And. Ah! January! Alright, fine. Let's see. So, at least we know when it is now. One thing I never knew about this. We know we're based. Thank you. In January. The safe is closed. Okay. I don't know the combination. Right. Fine. We will uh, get to that in a bit then. And, oh, camera. Always make sure they get your good side. Right. Will do. Fine. Let's um, open the clock up then. Aha. A secret passage. This is all too easy. Yes. Yes, it is. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world, had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk test? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll see. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Cheap mail order 
you is. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Okay, well, I guess we better go and, yeah, start looking for them plans. It's empty. Okay. No, we can't just go and use it. Fine. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. All right, you go and do that a minute. I've got stuff down here to mess around with. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a hamster generator. Lovely. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing I can't pick that up. I don't think I can pick that up. No. Ah, pink. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow. Okay, well, we kind of uh, found it. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes. Down the toilet? No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now we can switch characters should we wish. And, ah, we have a can opener. All right, well... Let's see what we've huh. got. This door appears to be locked. Oh, okay. I'd rather use a tree. Fine. Okay. What about that one? 
Huh. This door appears to be locked. All right, they're both being used. Fine. Ye olde outhouses. Mmm, kumquats. No way could I pick that up. Okay, I didn't actually want the... Okay, can I push it? I can't move it. No. All right, fine. Let's um, walk off. Yeah. Come on. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Okay, see, we would have all been fine if he'd listened and put that in, but no. Nobody ever considers a um, non-human trying to take over. It's totally covered with crud. Okay, well, we'll get to that later on. Hello. It's closed. Okay. Ooh. We have a letter. Bye. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Hmm. Fine. Hmm. Well, let's head inside, shall we? Well, let's open the door first, then head inside. Oh, hello, Mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably right. Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Far out. Well, nice talking to you, dude. Okay, right. Um, I guess I'm not doing that, but... That would not be respectful. Alright. Besides, I might get caught. <laughs> That's more like it. Right. Um, how we got through it? Oh, hello. It's you. Right. Um, let's... let's have a chat to you, John. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the law for posterity and won't part with it. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... A, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say the draft, you'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. You say that as though it was a bad thing. Do you have any idea how much it costs to fix a wall these days? It's a racket. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas.
what about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. You mean you have, like, a childhood complex? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c c crazy over guys with a big signature. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my d dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. Okay, right, that's a... Uh, oh, a time capsule. Lovely. It looks like a martini shaker. Okay. Um. Don't touch that. It's government property. Alright, fine. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Okay. Hey, keep your hands off that. They don't seem to have gotten too far. You can look, but don't touch. Fine. All right, let's see what Jefferson's got to say for himself. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Dude, is that like THE Constitution? Right now, it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we've put up a suggestion box over there. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I don't know. Um... Yeah, S's look like F's. I like those S's that look like F's. I see. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Okay, right, let's have one more. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Does Mrs. Washington know you wear so much makeup? One must wear makeup when one receives the phenomenal amount of media attention that I do. It's quite likely that I'll be president soon, you know. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Ooh. Yeah, ecology. I think ecology is very important. Yes, of course, but what really matters is which one sounds better. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. 
Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Okay. All right, well, we'll come back to use later on because we probably need something. Um... Okay, let's see if we can use the letter. I don't wanna. Okay, um, give. What he needs is a space heater. Alright, can we get rid of... That's nice, but not right for a time capsule. Alright, okay, right, let's carry on searching. Ooh, okay. Spaghetti. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Okay, each to their own, I guess. Mm salad oil. Alright, and... Oh, water pump. Blow. Bitch it. Okay, I don't have anything to use it with, so... Okay. I think that is... Anything in here? Ah! Hey, fuck it. Well, we know what we're doing with that. Thank you. And... Open you. As I say... Yes, it has been a very, very long it's time already since I've played this, so while I've completed it a number of times, yeah, there is a few things that I'll need to remember how to do. But for now, let's just course. Yep, yeah, it's still there. But before we do, let's have a nose upstairs. George sleeps here, does he? Fine. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Okay. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Okay. Right, that calls you into here. I guess this is, hey lady. Yes, Mr. Washington. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. Okay, fine. Do you know where I could find Red Edison? He's probably in the basement workshop again. He's always tankering with some invention instead of running the inn as he ought. Okay. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Right, let's get out and rob everything we can from a car. No way could I pick that. Oh, ha! Ha! Get away from that. It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram. They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. Okay. Right, let's go back. And we will try that again in a moment. We'll have to make the room a bit more messy. Before we go. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Yeah, let's go with a skull. Why not? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? Let's just... Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. All right, fine. Looks comfortable. Nice day outside. Sorry, no time for small talk. I don't want them. I know that already. Right, fine. And let's check you quickly. Oh, you forgot. 
a wine bottle, okay. You. And are we still in January? Yes, we are. Okay, fine. I don't quite see how it can fly. I don't understand that technical stuff. Hey, what's that on the plant? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> okay. No way could I pick that up. Oh, I mean, I mean, I just saw get draw. Grody man, I don't go through people's underwear. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Right. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Fine. Oh, okay. We have a horse inside. Uh, hi, horsey. Well, hi, yourself. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Oh, um... You know what? Yeah, let's go to the model. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Fine. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The valley. Ah, the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. If only you could be there right now, eh? Wouldn't that be nice for both of us? Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Okay, right, well... Oh, meanwhile... Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Yes, yes, we'll get that in a minute. What a pretty pussy cat. Cats dig these. <coughs> Yo, I... Okay, not gonna get that. Right, let's get the paint. I need that. Ba 
Very Spartan. Very Spartan. All right, so we've had a look around the house apart from one area. But before we do, let's just, yeah, quickly use his bed. There we go. Thank you, make it nice and messy. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Yes, very messy. Right, now let's quickly grab the soap. Thank you. And uh, no, downstairs, and we've got one more area to search. Oh, okay, there we go. Hello, and you are red. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Okay, right. Well, let's just give him the plans. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Well, I've got the oil, I've got the vinegar, just need to find some gold, so we'll get that uh, another time. But you know what? I think we'll end it there today because I think that was a nice introduction to it. And yeah, I mean, I'm not racing through it. I'm going to go through and do some ins and outs, bits of, you know, fun bits and that. I'm not just doing the main story. So yeah, as I say, this is going to be our Wednesday series from now on. Well, until it's uh, finished anyway. So I hope you'll join me back here next week where we will carry on and see what else we can get up to. So I hope you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been San Casey for this has been Day of the Tentacle. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye.